are not averting to their minds to three things. And I will always say the first thing, regardless of which other human being you are, there's something you believe. Whatever you believe, whether you are a Christian, you are a Muslim, you are a Buddhist, you are a pagan, you believe in something. What has your scripture said about this? They were threatening the lack of morals, winning some joy, and many of us who were speaking about visas to travel to their country. The speaker, we have made them look as if going to their country is, is about life. The speaker, if we were to do reciprocity, to, to do reciprocal of what they are doing, so that they would also be able to come into our country. The speaker, we will see those who suffer most. Promotion of proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian family values. My friend, the ranking member has quoted our constitutional duty to pro uh, promote and protect our social and cultural values, an injunction by our constitution. So indeed, we are taking our responsibility under the constitution and promoting and passing this bill. What we can do is to ensure that the human rights of every Ghanaian citizen are protected in line with our constitution and that nobody is discriminated against because of their beliefs or sexual orientation. Yes, honorable, let's hear you. It is incumbent on us as members of parliament to craft a piece of legislation that is not in conflict with our constitution or existing legislation. And so I commend the committee for the extensive work that they have done to clean up the, the bill that was presented to us and to come up with the amendments that they have proposed. And for the information of all Ghanaians, oral sex, anal sex, regardless of whether it is between man and woman, man and man, or woman and woman, is illegal under our law. So if there is anybody who is practicing oral sex, or anal sex today on a man or a woman please note that what you're doing is against the existing law of this country because it is a natural carnal knowledge please country withdraw that statement honorable member for temali central please we are telling all of us together please withdraw that statement no I overheard I never... you. Honorable Motala, I overheard you. Please just withdraw the statement. I sat here and repeatedly heard Honorable Motala refer to me as a practitioner of LGBT to the hearing of everyone in this house. I heard it. I sat here and repeatedly heard him Honorable shout Minister. at the top of his voice Honorable... and refer to me as a practitioner of LGBT. Every single last one of you is behaving as if you didn't hear it. And if in response to that I say he is mad, it is only a madman who will, who will refer to his colleague in this house as a practitioner of LGBTQ. When you haven't seen me having sexual intercourse with your wife in those terms. Honorable Minister. And we call ourselves honorable members of this house. When you all hear it, and pretend that suddenly you've lost your sense of hearing. Every single speaker. But Mr. Speaker, it, Mr. Speaker, it is fair that Honorable Esloosu, strangely, if the Honorable finished. former minister seated if by her, finished, is not aware she made some statement. If you also, we draw every statement she made. Members of Parliament, and with respect to the titles that we bear and the constituencies that we represent, if there's any gesture I made, which anyone here finds offensive, I would draw it. However, let us all also be honest Honourable, and admit that certain things happen here. Honourable which are